welcome to another vlog. It's uh, the first day of year two of vlogging for me. Um, pretty damn stoked um, to get a year under my belt, uh, like 300 and something videos. Um, it's tough, it's been a grind, but at the same time it's also super motivating as well to get my own cars done myself rather than paying people to do it. And um, just in general, just a good motivator and um, it's really cool to share it with you guys. So anyway, today I got a little bit of running around to do. Um, I really, uh, I got a lead on a possible engine package for the S13. So I'll let you guys know more about that as soon as I know more about that. And then uh, I wanna see what's going on with Shibby. Um, I know I should be picking it up any day now. I also have a surprise coming on the channel. Um, it is a new car. Um, I'm, it's a tough one. So I'm not buying the car. It's been bought for me and I'm working with a company and it's gonna be fun guys, trust me. Uh, what else is going on? You know, I have a day off. I feel like there's so much stuff that I need to tell you guys. Um, I really wanna get going on sandblasting the S13 as well. I want to organize that. I also want to organize getting the 86 done. So a lot of the stuff uh, coming up for both those builds is cosmetics, you know, paint and bodywork for both the 86 and my S13. Obviously the S13 engine package needs to be sorted as well, but the first thing is the, uh, you know, the bodywork needs to be tended to, which is more so just cleaning it up and um, you know, getting rid of any rust that is there. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna head down to Black Arts. I've got some uh, stuff I have to drop off there and possibly, I think I have to pick up a window banner or two and I've got some stuff I need to take down to a charity. And uh, yeah, overall, enjoy the day with me guys. It's, uh, it's definitely been good and I hope you guys liked that uh, video from yesterday or the day before, whenever it was the uh, 43 minute long one. It was a bitch to edit such a big video like that, but I'm stoked on how it came out. I feel like it was pretty good, but yeah, I won't be doing 40 minute videos all the time, that's for sure. All right guys, we're back down here at the track. Um, I've just gone up and finally picked up some little lights for my number plates, because I've needed to get that done for a little while now. And well, I just walked in and I was just having a look at the back of Cheech's car. And I did notice he gave the wall a bit of a tap when he was uh, playing with that other fa Silver Falcon the other night. Turns out it was a really, really big hit because he's actually um, bent the whole rear of the car across. I don't know if it's gonna show on video, but the car's actually kinked here, here, and it's actually kinked here, and if you see the roof, the, the window is, yeah, obviously the line of the car should go straight up, but because it's so bent, it's popped the window out. Nice. You've done a good job. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, this side's pushed out. Yeah. Oh wow. Huge. Yeah, that's a that's a big old hit. Yeah. Damn. Oh, a bit of backwards track will fix that. Hit the <laughs> other side. Yeah, it will. <laughs> but look at that. That's wild. I've never seen that happen before. Like not with a window. That's unreal. So the hit was so big it shifted the entire back of the car across and has actually like made his window pop out. It doesn't look that bad at a first glance, but yeah, it's, yeah, big hit. <laughs> oh well, no. <laughs> that's why you can't have nice things. That's why you pick them up for 700 for a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's true. They're cheap enough just to wreck. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a somewhat legitimate job with this one. I've got, not all the elements are broken on these. These ones here are actually fine, but I think there's ones broken on the other side. I really wanted to, um, well, not necessarily that I wanted to, but Russell's like, yeah, just replace them all. Don't be a tired ass. So I guess I've decided not to be a tired ass and I'm replacing all of these globes, um, getting the car ready for Rego. So can't wait to get a Rego, man. I'm um, looking forward. I need the... This thing will be a good little stress relief to be able to cruise it around on the road. I'm really looking forward to it. Damn it, the ones I've got seem to be, they're just a little bit too thin. So overall, the fitment is great where the 
bolts line up but then if you can see there it leaves a gap on either side like it has this huge hole that really doesn't look good so back to the drawing board we go back to the shop now I don't think I'll be able to get a refund on these ones because they're taken out of the packet I'll just keep them around for something else but uh yeah all right back down the shop and we'll see if we can find the right one we need to be able to get number plates on this thing it's super close to rego though so i'm pretty excited about that all right so i've been to the shops come back again i've got a new set of number plate lights these are definitely going to be the right size gonna have to do a little bit of customization to make them fit but ironically they're pretty much the same color as i plan to paint the car so like pretty damn close <laughs> if anything i'd probably go with the same color as the um as this because apparently the color of the raptor has a lot of pearls and stuff in it which i have no intention on doing on a car that i'm going to drive like the 86 so i'll probably just be like match the 86 to these the color of these and that way these don't have to be painted and i i do quite like the color I think that's going to be the go. But we're going to get these on. Hopefully uh, Russ will come down today or tomorrow and finish off the wiring. Then it's rego time. Pretty damn excited to cruise this thing around. I want to take it and probably get the uh, back windows tinted as well so it, the cage isn't as visible. But all in time. Alright, number plate lights are on. I do really like that colour. But they are on. Uh, Russ will wire them up when he wires up the remainder of the tail lights. But pretty damn legal. Oh yeah, getting there, <laughs> getting close. Larkin's Garage, your friendly roadie guy. Um, I'm not even unhappy with how that looks. I definitely want to paint the car the same colour as those grey bits. I think that's pretty cool that they're already grey. Uh, overall, not a lot of stuff left, like I said. Definitely keen to get this baddie on the road. I can't wait to paint the rest of the car, but either way, as it is right now, I'd just love to... Um, you know be able to cruise it around even like it is i don't think it's nothing it's not really an eyesore other than the carbon bonnet <laughs> kevlar bonnet i mean yeah, that's about it yeah kevlar bonnet's the only larry bit about it but like i said i think when i do paint the car i'm probably going to paint the, the hood as well so yeah exciting all right 350z it's time larkin said larkin said so yes i said so time to do it luke time to do it i keep putting it off it's like I, I can, you know me, I can make it work like it is. So I just like, yeah, keep sending, keep sending. But it's like, it absolutely needs to be done. So yeah, and I've even got it up on the stands ready to go. So yeah. rattle gun out and some extension -y, Some We'll get it out in no time. Yeah. Why procrastinate? So Larkins is hitting the tail shaft bolts. I'm going to start on the CV bolts. Go, we need a hoist. Yes, we do. <laughs> Um, but yeah, not ideal, but we'll get it right out. got the diff out um you can definitely tell she's been slipping it stinks so bad like it's like proper cooked diff oil eh? oh, yeah. like <laughs> what? <laughs> what is all that it even looks is that like is that bits of metal uh, i think it might just be a bit of dirt what are those little those little bits there like that what's that is that metal yeah it's metal Hmm. <laughs> Bring on the welder. Shibby. Shibby. <laughs> we'll uh, clean it all up. We'll make sure we put this dirty, disgusting oil in a container and we'll put this oil straight back in. 
Yup. <laughs> it's a weldy, Cheech. It's a weldy, mate. It's all it deserves. <laughs> All right, so this is going to turn into a how to weld the diff, an LSD diff on a 350Z. When your LSD says no more, it's already been shimmed before. I could shim it again, but we have a welder here, so welding it's the go. Welding's the go. Gasless MIG. Gasless MIG. Gasless MIG. It's always in my car. Ready to Cup, go. Bit of degreaser. We'll uh, clean it up and then hit it with a gasless MIG copious amounts of weld and we'll show you exactly where you need to weld to get your diff to stay together on a 350z because i've done one of these before actually i've done a few now um i did the one that was in my s13 a couple of times and i keep breaking other parts of the diff not that the welder diff stays together but everything else breaks around it so yeah we're gonna degrease the crap out of it now what are you doing so we can turn it you can turn it in there not when they're sitting on the bottom Oh shit, my finger in there. <laughs> First time you were in a diff teach? No. Bloody <laughs> young, no. <laughs> I got two spare ones in the front of me Ford. <laughs> Welded ready to go just in case I break one. Uh, I was waiting for it. I wait for him to say I used to do 50 buckers. <laughs> <laughs> 50 CIG, bucks is 50 bucks. CIG lockers. <laughs> So it re obviously degreasing all the gears. So where they're squirting it down inside the holes. So you get all the gears because essentially we're not we're welding the gears together. Um, so yeah, this will not the pinion get, and yeah crown wheel. yeah don't weld the pinion and crown wheel. We're welding the gears inside the LSD together, and there's big enough holes to look through on the 350Z LSD that you can really get in there and get a good weld on. Clean the flea chicks. I'm, I'm not welding it. You are. <laughs> I would have welded it. And you weld it, you weld it covered in oil. Yeah, let's see how I did my Commodore diff. <laughs> Wouldn't have stuck, you just had little ball bearings everywhere. <laughs> hasn't broke yet, has it? This engine hasn't lasted for long enough to yeah. see. <laughs> hey, that, it's the same one that was in the old one. Oh. Well, you burnt all the oil off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> DP, double penetration. <laughs> That's what she said. Getting rid of the lube though. <laughs> I don't see why all this juice couldn't just go back in there, Chief. <laughs> a bit of greaser, a bit of oil. Loves it. Back in the uh, special welding bracket. And the old diff in a milk crate thing. I, I can't, I only saw it not that long ago. It wasn't that long ago that someone actually showed me this. It's the best thing ever for welding a diff. You literally sit it in a milk crate and you can do whatever you need to do to the back of the diff. Schmick. Welder ready to go. Everyone's ready for safety squinting. Yep. Yep. <laughs> safety squint. Safety squints. <laughs> yeah, only the highest quality little gasless MIG. Sig weld. Sig weld. CIG locker. Yep. Amperage all the way up. All the way to full. <laughs> full. Everything full and full. full. Yep. <laughs> full send. Full send. And then you fill. Then you fill. And don't worry, fire's quite normal at the start because there's usually degreaser and oil left over which catches on fire. So we have run out of weld. On the way down the shop now to get more welding wire because we have run out. And uh, yeah, I got a little, I had a little accident in the Raptor guys. I will show you, but as you'd expect, I'm really good at reversing. So you can imagine that uh, I'll bring myself to show you later in the vlog. welding Alright, where are we at? 
What are you doing filing with a thing? Are you just getting it off the crown wheel, like little splatters? Yeah, so just then a little splatter shit up. That way, we don't have a diff lock up. A what? <laughs> a diff lock up? Yeah. So I've never been this fancy. Yeah, well. Life is doing fancy stuff. We've seen I, the, the, I we've normally just let the splatter go. We've seen the way you drive. It, it, it'll work itself out. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do it the right way for the people. We're showing people the right way. Yeah. yeah. So using a wire brush, guys. Get in there and get rid of all the splatter that you might have. So Cheech had a question whether steaming Vapors. this will blow up. Holy oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad mistake. Okay, bad mistake. We tip it out. No, just take the um, take the rags off it. Just tip it down the crate. Just take the rags off it. <laughs> oh, there you go, Cheech. There you go. There's an answer to your question, though. <laughs> this is not helping it get any colder. No, not at all. Fire extinguisher? No. no don't want to waste the fire extinguisher. No. Okay, I'll put it out. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're trying to put it, out. put it out. Stop it! We're trying to put it out, you fools. It's melting the crate too. The inside's burning out. Jeffy. Oh, now it's went under the car. It's under your car. Oh yeah, that'll, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why guys shouldn't be trusted with uh, flammables. It was Cheech's idea. <laughs> and it was executed by a firefighter, so <laughs> we're under control. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I haven't even been over and shown them your burnt down car that's literally just <laughs> sitting over there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll show you guys how much of an ass I am and how shit I am at reversing. I don't know how, why. I don't really want to talk about it, but I did it again. I reversed into something in the Raptor. Again, in exactly the same spot. This time I hit a concrete wall. I don't know why my sensors weren't working, but they weren't, whatever. Anyway, let's pick on Larkins. This is the leftovers of Larkins last Commodore. And this is where the engine that only just blew up the other day, came out of this car, out of this crazily burnt, nothing left. Like, your LS was in that engine bay. <laughs> yep, it was in that engine bay. No. However, I pulled the horns off, chucked them on and they still work. Really? <laughs> yeah. The no. melted lights there at the front. And but yeah, pretty amazing that an engine came out of this car and, and still gear. lasted for, oh, and the box, and it still lasted for quite a while. And the diff, and the exhaust. Yeah. And the computer. The computer? Yeah. Well, the computer was sitting here. Um, I plugged it in and it worked. <laughs> so, yeah. Pick that one out. And this, it's funnily enough, the trailer that he still uses every day is where the car was on fire as well. And the trailer was also burnt in the same incident. Yep. So, pretty, um, yeah, pretty crazy that the trailer was completely burnt out and he rebuilt it then pulled the engine box diff exhaust computer. and computer out of the burnt wreck and made his other car work it doesn't even make any sense and because his old ute was also burnt in the same thing the old ute the diff out of the uh, sorry the tail shaft out of the old ute also ended up in this navara after last time we were out full driving and he broke his rear uh, tail shaft, so yeah. The front diff's in there as well. Oh, and the front diff out of the burnt one as well. Yep. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. And it was only interesting because um, the insurance company was sort of being dodgy and tried to get rid of his burnt Navara and we actually saw it going into the um, the auctions across the road and you didn't even no, know about no, it. We, we went in to pick up the V34. Oh yeah, we did too. Yeah, we went to pick up a car and saw your car in there. Yeah, it's like... And yeah, we're like, your not... car shouldn't be here, why? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... But, yeah, got the tail shaft, diff, 
Even the wheels, one of the wheels is up on the roof there. Out of the burnt oh, one? Off the burnt one, yeah. That's insane, that's <laughs> insane. Oh, so this is the ECU that was in the burnt car. Yeah. You so it's got all it. melted crud all over it. Yep. That's unreal. That it didn't melt more, you know, or melt inside more so. Yeah, it was crazy because it was, factory computers sit just here. Yeah, and that part and of the engine bay is well and truly crispy. That's it, so. Unreal. Well, built to last, they sort are. of. <laughs> built with spanners, not chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this step? The getting all of the stuff off? Yeah, the old silicon. All the old silicon off, getting ready to put it back together with no leakies. Yup. We're going to put oil in it first, G, children, we want to yeah. put it in after. No, you put oil in it first with these. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a falcon. You put it in first. These are sealed units. Well, they're not sealed. They have breathe at the top, but filling it up after would suck. Oil in there, Cheech. Yep. Yeah, Cheech didn't want me to use the old oil, so nice oh. fresh oil. Basically, whatever we could find off the shelf. Pretty much. Oil's oil when it comes to oil's oil. Oil's oil. That one can go in as well. I don't know how much you meant to put in these. I just put oil in. Where's where's the full mark? Uh, top, top well, of the. Well, dribbles in. Yeah, we dribbles. <laughs> yeah, a little bit extra doesn't hurt. It's got enough horsepower. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's plenty. Yeah. Crown will, uh, the pinions covered. Oh. Yeah, no, that's definitely gonna have plenty. <laughs> come, bit will come out the breather, should be. And then next, we add a liberal coating of gasket maker. What what one's that? Permatex, some sort of Permatex. Permatex blue. Blue RTV. There you go. Just don't put too much. That's the key. You don't need heaps. There you go. You're the man that's done it plenty of times. Doesn't even need to do the finger job after. <laughs> You missed a bit though. <laughs> well, he's done it plenty of times, you don't even need to get your fingers dirty. Boom, just yeah, slap that straight on. Yeah. Other way around. Ground has got to fit in that bit, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tiff hat goes on. Bada bing, bada boom. Bolts are on your Diff is welded. Now we got to put it all back again. Basically, imagine the first part of this video backwards, because that'll be us just putting it back in. And uh, we'll take it out for a test tomorrow for you guys. See if it does little chirpies when I do U-turns, which I know it will, but uh, no, nah, should be good definitely to have this car hooking up both back wheels again. Very happy about that. Be able to do more big burnouts. It's going to be great. Burnouts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been out here too long. Yeah. It's dark. You're just, the longest stiff world leave, in you're history. You're going to leave these out now, aren't you? Yeah. No, we don't need ABS sensors. Yeah, no, I mean leave them out. Yeah. yeah. I think the degrees of fumes got to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely have. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was a crappy vlog. I know. I'm sorry. I'll get back into it properly tomorrow. Today was just very much running around, catching up on things because... The day before that, I really did nothing. I was sort of celebrating one year by doing absolutely nothing on my vlog. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We've got a big surprise coming up in tomorrow's vlog. Peace out. Bye.